In this video, we will look at the purpose of CPU components and CPU registers. So let's start by reading the exam question. Describe the purpose of the following CPU components or registers. So we have the name of the component or register on the left in black, and we have the descriptions in red ink, just in case you wish to read ahead as part of your revision. So the MAR stands for the Memory Address Register, and it stores the address in memory. It's very important to remember we're storing the address in memory of where the data is to be fetched from or where the data will be, which is currently within the CPU, is to be stored. So it's a two-way kind of process. It's, it's either going to store the address in memory of where we will fetch data or instructions from, or it stores the address of where you want to store data within memory. So that leads us on to the memory data register. That actually holds the instruction or the data that has been fetched from memory, or it stores the data or instruction that is to be stored in a memory location. So one metaphor to think about this would be that the memory address register could be the address on the front of an envelope. The memory data register is the data within the envelope. The address on the front of the envelope tells us where the data is flowing. The contents of the envelope is the data itself. The program counter stores the memory address of the next instruction to be fetched. It's very important that we remember that it stores the address of the next instruction to be fetched. In other words, the instruction that hasn't been decoded and hasn't been executed. Once the data has been fetched, the program counter is incremented. What this means is to go on to the next address in memory which holds the next instruction. The accumulator is a register that stores the results of all mathematics calculations and logic operations such as AND or NOT gates. It, the accumulator does not perform the actual mathematics or the logic operations themselves. That is done by the arithmetic and logic unit. This is a very common mistake with students. So the accumulator holds the results of the maths calculations or logic operations. They are, those operations, those maths calculations or logic operations are performed within the ALU. The control unit can be seen as a traffic light system. It controls the flow of data around the computer system. So it will enable and, en and disable pieces of hardware, which ultimately controls the flow of data within the computer system itself. It is worth noting that the memory address register, the memory data register, the program counter, and the accumulator are all defined as being registers or temporary data stores within the CPU. The arithmetic and logic unit and the control unit are both parts of the CPU and are classed as components of the CPU. The final part of this video will describe the steps of the fetch, decode, execute cycle. So let's just look at the exam question. Describe the three steps of the fetch, decode, execute cycle. 
Again, we have the definitions on the left and our solutions for reading ahead in Red Ink. So the first thing that will be done in part of the fetching process would be the contents of the program counter, which is the memory address, will be stored in the memory address register. So this tells us the address of where to retrieve the instruction from. Secondly, we are going to copy the instruction that is stored in that address into the memory data register. So we now have the actual instruction itself that we would wish to execute within the memory data register. The third part of the fetch stage is to increment the program counter. So what this means is to move on to the address of the next instruction that will be fetched as part of the second iteration through the fetch decode execute cycle. Our decode stage, the control unit within the CPU decodes the instruction that is stored within the memory data register. So this is preparing the instruction ready for execution by the CPU. And our final stage, the execution stage, is to perform the instruction, run the instruction. Some examples could be load the data into the accumulator, add two numbers together, or even stop the program.